What's up, y'all? This is your girl, A. Nicole. <coughs> Welcome to Free Dope Podcast. I got my boy Ham. I got my boy Thump. Today yes, we got a special guest, Mr. Jenkins himself, a.k.a. Mr. Do It. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? What's up? I'm How good. you feeling? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm Mr. Do It, baby. From Pogue, Florida. Known as Jack Rabbit. Bliss off the label. Straight like that. Period. Yes, we got Florida in the building. We know we keep Florida in the building. <laughs> For y'all who don't know, this is a form, uh, formal NFL player. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, in 2008, you had a scholarship to play for the Gators and was arrested for possession. And yeah. got, you know, kicked out of college. Like, how did that happen? Explain that situation. Shit, for real. It was like, I was just on some, I just want to be me. Like, I just used to smoke everywhere, like. Uh, I went to school in 2008, so it really happened in, like, 2010, 11. I had got kicked out. You feel me? But you got to think, I was a freshman, and I had just won a national championship. Mm -hmm. So it was like, shit, everybody gone. You feel me? So it's like, shit, I just need to be me. I could just be me, but I couldn't really be me. And I, I was downtown smoking. Boom, boom. I used to carry, like, ounces with me. I was like, why, why Every time I'm going that? out, like, why, why going out? Why you ain't have somebody else in the crew with you, Jack? Cause I ain't never been that type of guy. Like, if some shit happened to me, it's mine. Yeah, it's like, you. you feel but me? But you ain't think like in that position, like, you know, let me, I'm you know, I'm, I'm to the standard. Yeah, did you I'm think young. you would make it? Like, go as far as you went when you was doing that. Like, I know I'm gonna go to the league. Like, did you ever think that at that moment? <clears throat> I knew I could. I knew I was gonna make it to the league because at that point I was already like shit projected to be a top top ten pick. You feel me? Freshman I, year? No, I ain't get caught my freshman year. That's what I'm saying. I didn't get caught to my junior year. Went in mm. there smoking, boom, 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 boom. Never got caught. I got too got comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, got yeah, too yeah. comfortable. Weed, you see what I'm saying? It's hard to break that relationship with weed. Like. I got too comfortable, so I had just started just <laughs> shit. Fuck it. And you say y'all was fresh off a of championship? 2008. So who was all there when? When y'all won that championship? It was me, Percy, Tebow, Major Wright, oh, Aaron shit. Hernandez, Deontay what Thompson. What school was this? University yeah, of Florida. Okay. Yeah. So with, with everything, Trent, you, you knew them, like a lot of them guys. I knew them. Like everything, how it's playing out, the Netflix documentary, all that, Aaron Hernandez. Like I don't like that. We, we don't, as former NFL guys, that I'm saying Gator guys that play with, it, with him, we don't like that. Like It's like. Why would y'all try to kick a man down when he's already already yeah, down? Yeah, like, yeah. Screw, bitch, we never heard that told by Aaron Hernandez <laughs> being gay. You feel me? Now all of a sudden he go to prison, he catch a little charge, charges, whatever. Y'all want to make a documentary saying he killed his stuff, he was gay and shit. Yeah. Like, come on, bro, what they do that at? Yeah. No. Did y'all ever cross path when you was playing though? Like you and Aaron Hernandez? All the time we was, bro. Did, did that's you why see we, that like we was so we was so cool. Everybody on that team, we had, we had a bun, bro. It was like everybody was basically hood. You feel me? Love weed, love to chill, fuck hoes. It was like shit, bitch. We finna vibe. T Bo too. Oh nah, man, T Bo. That's the. <laughs> Not that, John I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Bro, <laughs> see y'all, y'all getting the they side of the story. Yeah, yeah. 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 We don't want that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the real stories. story. Like. Yeah. Tebow, you know the quarterback, love him to death, but he ain't he went in them trenches like that. Yeah, okay, like, cool. What I mean, trenches like, bro, we used to be on the east side, bro, hanging out, smoking weed, buying shoes off the motherfucking niggas out the hood. Yeah, you feel me? Like, I mean, we'll be there by the house just smoking weed, playing a video game. It was a vibe. So, what exactly happened? Like, did the police just run down, or was it some type of altercation? Like, what what led up to the arrest? With me. Yeah. You feel like you were targeted? I was already arrested two times before that. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, so you felt like you had a target on your back. I already had a target on my back. It was like, and then at this point when I got kicked out, I'm fresh. I'm getting out of time. I had not been told not to go out. Like my girl at the time, she hadn't told me like, don't go out. The girls would give me how I want. You feel me? That <laughs> So I played it off. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I ain't going out. You feel me? I'm just at the crib. I go downtown, it was like like me and four of my dogs, they from the crib too. I had them up there at school with me. Go downtown, boom, we get in the parking garage. Soon we open the door, bitch, you see smoke everywhere, poof, mm -hmm. you feel me? So 
We get out, shut the door, boom. We walking out from under the garage. Police was like, hey guys, come here. I dumb ass. We turn around like, okay, what's up? He was like, um, y'all sit down, y'all, y'all about to be arrested for smoking marijuana. I'm like, what the fuck? If I knew that, I would have never came back. Like at that point, I would have just ran, to be honest. But I'm thinking it on some some other type shit, being crazy. What fuck get me down up? You on the race? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, you go over there, cross your legs. Hey, officer, whatever his name was, mm -hmm. watch him, make sure he don't move. I'm like, fuck, man. I, um, it's, it, it's over now. And I just told my girl, I can't go out. I ain't going out. Boom. I played it like this. <laughs> they get me. Boom. They searched the car. Boom. I wasn't even driving the car either, though. That was the crazy part. And it wasn't my car. So it's like, okay, boom. That's they find little, little roaches in there and shit, whatever. Okay, boom, boom. Y'all can go. Mr. Jenkins, come here. Boom. Get me. Take me downtown. Well, I'm already downtown. They take me to the little cell. I'm like, fuck. I don't supposed to be out. Know this shit finna hit the new. This about my third time. <laughs> and I just got a new coach in this bitch. I'm like, damn. Shit. Fuck it. Well, boom, boom. So I'm waiting. They get me in the, now I got to bum myself out. I'm like, damn. This shit gonna hit the new because I got to bum myself out. Call my dog like, bro, boom, 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 boom. Get the money, come bum me out. You feel me? Because it was like, I was on some tight, like, once I get my money, I'm high, my, I'm cuffing my shit, cause shit, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the league. So I used to get like little money on the side with my dogs and shit or whatever. Boom, hide my shit under the pillow. Get down there, get my bun, boom. You know, they let you out late though. Mm -hmm. When you get a bun, they gonna let you out like six o'clock in the morning. You feel me? I get out that bitch, boom. News station. Nah, that fuck it, man. I ain't turning on no TV, no nothing. <laughs> I jumped on the road, bitch. It came. You know what I'm saying, when you came out of the precinct, like, was it news? No. People that oh, you. Soon as I came out, I jumped straight on the road, bro. Boom. Straight to Orlando. Boom. Get to my baby mama high. Boom. I go to sleep because I'm tired at this point. I already know what done happened, but she don't know. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. I get to that motherfucker. Boom. Sleep. Wake up. Oh, man, I wake up. I'm getting cussed out. She's like, I told you don't go out last night. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? Uh, you was arrested last night. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was arrested. But. I hit the fan. That bitch don't hit the fan. At this point, I'm like, okay, shit, fuck it. Then what happened? Boom, boom, boom. And then shit. It was over. No, because Must Jump had no call me. He was like, um, he need to see me in the office. And at this point, I'm in Orlando because I drove after I got arrested to Orlando. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. And I got to drive back to Gainesville. So I'm in there first by myself. I go back. Boom. I'm in there. He tell me. Like, yeah, I know what happened last night, blah, 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 blah. Um, But unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, we're going to have to let you go. He was like, if you need help, I can help you get to any school you want. You know, if you go to D1, you got to sit out a year, whatever, whatever. I'm like, damn. Then he was like, uh, call your dad. I want to get your dad up here so I can tell both of y'all at the same time. Damn, my, I'm like, damn, my dad waiting in Pahogi, bitch. Call my dad. Dad. Uh... You need to come up here. My dad came on that bitch. Boom. Get in the office. Get in the office. My dad like, you ain't gonna sit in here. I'm like, nah, he already told me what he wanna tell me. He just need to talk to you at that point. You feel me? Not not telling my dad he done told me. I done got kicked out of school. You feel me? <laughs> Daddy get in that bitch. I don't know, you know, whatever they had, they had their little words. He come out, he hot. Boom. I'm like, hey man, like, I fucked up. He ain't hot. He was hot. He was like. He ain't have to kick me off the team. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, bro, this the man. He just got here. You feel me? Yeah, make an example. Before that, I had Urban Maya. Urban Maya, we do shit like we do the shit. You're gonna miss the first game, you're gonna run the stadium. Okay, I can deal with that. You feel me? But him Kicking coming me in. Off the team. But he was a new coach. So that's why yeah. I ain't yes, really get mad miss. at him. I ain't really get mad at him, never talk bad about him because at, at the end of the day, it was, it was still a business. Yeah. And at that yeah. time, I ain't understand that as, as a jitterbug. I'm like, shit, fuck it. But then, shit, with the North Alabama on there. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, is that uh But before before you got the, like, got in North Alabama, yeah. did you ever think, like, damn, this shit over? Like, I ain't going to make it. I ain't think it was over, bro, because I knew I had the talent. And I knew I just, I fucked up. Everybody fuck up, you feel me? But I, on my ride home, no cap, me and my dad, my dad was like, man, what you going to do? He was like, yeah, ass ain't going back to Pogue, because you ain't going to be on the corner. He was like, 
you go do one, you're going to have to sit out. I say, nah, nah, I ain't going to do one. I don't want to sit out because I ain't got time for nobody to keep controlling me. You feel me? Like, got to be here, got to be there. He was like, that. He was like, I'll tell you what. We're going to find you a school. We're going to find the best Division two school out there. You're going to go. You only got to do six months. I'm like, all right, that's a bet. So then I, I'm like, damn, now what Division two school I can go to? I don't know shit about Division two. I got to go. I just came from Florida. You feel me? I get to look it. Boom, boom, boom. So at this point, I ain't got to look, nah. Everybody already know I done got kicked out of school, so I'm getting called. Boom, I'm getting called. Now it's like, everything's starting all over. Like, damn. Go to North Alabama. I get a call from, um, what his name was? Uh, Tommy Bound. Was it Tommy Bound? Tommy Bound. He was at North Alabama. You know, his brother, Bobby Bound from Florida State. So he, was, he used to get all the um, Florida State players that got kicked out of school and have them come to North Alabama. So he hit me up. I get there, boom, on the visit first. I had to go see it. You feel me? Not knowing, bitch, I got to buy my own cleats now. <laughs> you feel <laughs> me? I got to buy my own socks. You feel oh, my own oh. tights. But I, I had it. They, they showed so much, so much love. It was like, you just come here and not smoke weed. We got you. Like, you feel me? So I get there, take, take my visit. Shit, I see a whole bunch of motherfuckers from Florida. <laughs> they got kicked out too? From Florida State, like from Florida <laughs> oh, State, oh, yeah. different schools and shit. All these boys from Florida. Oh man, okay, I'm straight. I'm good. I can vibe here, you feel me? Okay. After my visit, they called me again. They like, um, yo, what's your decision? I'm like, I don't know, because I got I got all the D2 top schools calling me. But at the end of the day, I only took this visit off the name of your daddy, your people, who you is. I took that visit off off them just to see what's going on. Get up there. They ask the boy telling me love, hey, love. The bitch asked me, say, man, what what you what you on? Um, what you need for for what, what we need to give you for you to come here? I'm like, damn. Shit, I don't need nothing but a one bedroom. You feel me? King side bed, TV, you feel me, food and my shit. And I I needed the shit, raffle on court covers and shit, like the comforter set. I need the polo cover, the comforter <laughs> set, you feel me? Got specific. I got specific, specific with it, yeah. <laughs> so shit, they boom. They provided it all? Man. I get the, boom, no. So when I tell them what I wanted, what I needed, they were like, all right, we'll call you back or whatever. They called me back probably like two weeks later. They were like, okay, check. The list, the list checked off. That's all they said, because you know back then you get in trouble. Can't say too much, you feel me? So it was like the list check, boom. Okay, it's check. That's our okay saying everything you ask for. Yeah, we got it. We got right. it. Handle your your end of the, the deal. Handle my end of the deal. Boom. So I now at this point I commit. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to North Alabama. Fuck it. Whole bunch of Florida dog boys up there. I get there. Can't be big. They picked me up from the airport like I'm big dog. You feel me? Take me to the apartment, pull up in the apartment complex, bitch, open the door, everything in that bed. Rap Lauren covers, already bed, already made, king side bed, TV in the front room, TV in my room. I'm like, all right, shit, I'm straight. You feel me? Boom. So now we got like two days, you feel me? School start. All right, boom. All right, I'm getting comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Got my video game, got my little my cousin up there with me at this time. First day of school, boom, I go to all my classes, you feel me? Not knowing they already know who I'm is and I'm coming and shit, I go to all the classes, whatever, boom. First two, like the first three days, I go to all the classes, boom. Like, then the next week came, they was like, the first week, like that Monday, they was like, um, come holler at me at the class. Like, all my teacher was like, yo, at the class, just come holler at me, we gonna holler at you. So I get to them, class. It's on a Monday. They was like, listen, we know why you're here. We know what happened. We only want to see you succeed. All you have to do is show up certain days that we tell you to when we email you, you know what I'm saying? You just make sure you show up, and at the end of the year, you good. Boom. After that, I ain't go to class no more, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I swear to God, literally, That's I ain't go to class crazy. no more. It was like, nah, I could just like, Shit, I was able to like refine myself. You feel like reconnect yeah. with myself because it was like I was good. I used to always, you know what I'm saying, vibe and shit. But I just love weed and shit. So it was like, bam. So did you switch up 
in there that when you got to Alabama? Like, I, ain't, you, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I, I stayed, I was still smoking weed. You ain't you switch feel? up nothing. Like, I when ain't you switch hang up around, nothing. you just stayed the same. My dog that I had at Florida with me, yeah. I didn't bring him to North Alabama with me mm-hmm. this time. You feel me? I was like, y'all boy, I gotta get right. Bitch, this for yeah, us. You feel me? Like, well, if I make it, bitch, we all make it. So yeah. I gotta, you yeah, know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So what happened after North Alabama? You went back D1 or you? No, I went to the league after that. Oh, you went to the league? I got drafted after that. So you was at Alabama what two years? I was at North Alabama for five months, bro. That's what I'm telling you. And you was eligible then for the draft, and I was eligible for the draft. Okay, you feel me? Because I was p- supposed to be in a top five pick. But you dropped the two second round. I dropped the second round. I got kicked out. And what? Yeah. When, when you dropped to the second, you get in the league. Uh, mm-hmm. You basically got to prove yourself. Well, you you went to uh, St. Louis. St. Louis, yeah. yeah you was right. there. Uh, what was that first check like? Like when you got that check. I never had seen that much money and I never understood it. You feel me? It was like, I ain't even see it. Cause at this point I was fresh in the league. So they was just until like your check's going straight to your account. You feel yeah. me? So I ain't really see it. You feel me? To be honest. But once I did like figure out like how to work the online banking, you feel me? Cause I'm, my check's going to my account, but I don't know. How to work there. I don't really understand it, bitch. I'm an athlete. I've been playing football all my life. I never had a count. I'm out of the hood. My money stayed on my pillow. My homeboy got the money in their pocket. You who feel this me? Who the fuck? Like, <laughs> who the fuck? What the fuck? And I seen that bitch, but, you know, it was like, damn, I made it. But at the end of the day, I had to understand, like, what I what they say I get, I don't really get. You feel me? Because taxes, you feel me? Shit, you got to file taxes every city that you play in. Well, every state that you play in, in football. So if you play in Philly, um, out there in Philly, you got to file taxes out there. You got to Cali. That check you get from Cali, you got to file the taxes. All that shit, bro. So you got an accountant or you were still managing this shit? No, I got an accountant at this time. Yeah. I, I came in with an accountant. So you know, coming I ain't from crazy. the pillow to the accountant, like you trust the accountant? Because like, I, had, I had a mentor. He was in the Army. And then my dad, bro, my dad ain't never like, my dad was like my dog. Like my brother hadn't been to prison, so it was like my dad was my dog. And it was like I hooked my dad up with my mentor. Eighth grade in high school. Right now today, I'm 35 years old. That bitch still my mentor. I know that's right. And him and my daddy like this, travel the world together. Everything came to games together. Bitch ate together. Think shit like like shit like that. Cause I knew the guy from I was eighth grade in the eighth grade. So you coming in the NFL, like, it, it always been stories like niggas getting the lead, get a check, and they fuck it up. Yeah. Like, you saw that type of stuff. Like, how did you, like, manage your money? And have you ever took, like, a big loss to it? Was, it was like, damn, man. Niggas fuck up their money. They fuck up their money. You feel me? Me, it was like, I was young. I ain't say I fucked up. No, I fucked up some money, but I ain't saying I fucked up, man. Fucked it up, you feel me? But you still me? had that guidance. But I still that had that guidance. Mm-hmm. It was like, okay, boom. Because, bro, I can't, you can ask any of my dogs, bro. From since I was in college, freshman year, if a nigga <laughs> was with me and I ate, everybody ate. Even if I'm feeding everybody. So, what was the biggest fuck up? Like the biggest loss you took like biggest, financially? I say it probably was my my rookie contract. I ain't blow it all, but I, almost, I blew half. Oh, your richest contract? My, my rookie contract. Oh, your rookie contract. You feel me? Bro, I was really just like, me and my dogs, bitch, we traveling. Every hotel room on me, off of love, just like, boom, we gone here. Tally, Cali, Texas, Miami. Everybody. I think you have to experience that so Bro, you be able to appreciate to. it when you get the big bigger contract. Bag. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, so you get the big contract and like shit different. Mm-hmm. Like that was what, with the Giants, that was your biggest one? Yeah, All now right. I'm in a whole different tax bracket now. Yeah. You feel me? So shit. So yeah. So how you felt when you got that? That was what, 60, uh, 65. 62.5 million. Yes, sir. I was, <laughs> bitch, I was, bitch. That's, I can't even count, bro. I was so happy, bro. I was I was excited at that point. I knew I could take care of my mama. How you feel about taxes? It's bullshit. I know they hit that shit hard. Why well, I gotta pay tax on money? I I work for right. Uncle Sam for so you. So what? You walked away. What about about half? <laughs> it was I'm yearly. Half. It was yearly, right? So 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 after. That hit. I'm gonna say it, roughly. I'm gonna give you 35 million, right? Did you start to see people change? Like, how did the environment change around you? Like, how did you handle that? Like, the people, everybody started calling back from the crib. Like, I was already used did, to that did, though. I never mm-hmm. cut my niggas With out. Bro. I never cut. I, I never really. I ain't cut nobody out. You feel? If I'm mm-hmm. gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. Do you regret got, that? What? Not cutting nobody off. No, I don't regret that. 
No matter, we still the same, bro. Money can't change you, bro. It's how you act when you get the money. I don't act no type of way. I'm used to fucking hoes. I'm used to this. What I'm trying. To, this what yeah. I be telling people, dog. Like motherfuckers, talking about they got. Well, you know, leave. you got real ones. They go screws. broke. Uh, they spend on money. Uh, they got this baby. Yeah. I'm but used. you do got people that leech and uh, use you and like the time you you might tell somebody no. Uh, I mean you might tell them yeah a hundred times. That one time you tell them no. They mad. So who gives a fuck? Nigga, mm -hmm. call me tomorrow. We're going to talk like ain't shit happen. You'll yeah. be all right. Figure gonna, it we going to be okay, bro. Yeah. No me, no. If, Bro, if, if that's the case, I won't even give you a yes or a no. Yeah. I just act like I don't even understand the question sometimes. But get what? I'm going to call you next week because you still my dog and act like shit ain't shit happen. Bro, well, you ain't know, I ain't know you, bitch. What you talking about? So you ain't have to cut nobody off? Everybody still around? Everybody, all my dogs still around. Mama, okay. dad, all my family members still around. Because I ain't never been that type to act like I... I'm, I'm so better than everybody. Like, mm -hmm. think about it. Niggas get money nine times out of ten. We ain't used to money, right? Yeah. If you ain't used to money, you ain't used to hoes, right? Mm -hmm. M money come with a lot of hoes. Some people just get onto that. Some people been doing that. Without I the been, money. Without yeah, the money. Without you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to I ain't need the money. So it just made you comfortable. It made me, really. it made me more humble. Humble. I would say that. In what way? Women. Shit. Hanging out. I used to party a lot. I don't party like that no more. I had a lot of women. Because far, far as dating, you you never, have you ever dated uh, somebody new or all your, like, baby mamas or somebody, people you been new? My baby, my, I'm going to break it down to y'all, but real spill. I heard you got seven kids. Look, I got, break that down. I got seven got. kids. I really got six, but, you know, my girl got another uh, son, so that's my son, too. Okay. That's my bonus son, so I got seven kids. But my first baby mama, that was a high school girl. Mm -hmm. My second baby mama, I was fucking with her when I was fucking with my high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You feel me? My third baby mama, that was on some... Boom, boom, boom type shit. You feel me? <laughs> but I love, I, I fuck with her though. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, I fuck with her. My fourth baby mama, that was um, Tay from Orlando. She was up here. You feel me? Hold on, that, what number that is? Oh, that's, that's four. four. Okay. Yeah. You feel me? And, and my girl that I went now, Gigi, my mm -hmm. fifth baby mama. Okay. So I was with, I was with, I was with all my, for sh my high school. And Tay, I was with them. I was with Tay when I was in college for like two, three years. Boom. Then I was with Gigi from like my second year in college. I know my second year in the lead to now. Yeah. yeah. So, so you basically, never everybody caught up was, in that. Yeah, this was everybody that. from shooting in the gym. This wasn't, this ain't nobody new you met off the internet. This was just like pure genuine. It would have sound like. Who? My baby mom? All your baby mom. Yeah. All my baby mom, yeah. They're all genuine. I mean, like, I, been I, fucking with you before the bag. Before the bag, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I, I had, bro, I had three kids, bro, sophomore year in college. This is what I'm saying. I was used to mm -hmm. having sex, having women. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was used to that. So when I got to the bag, it humbled me. Because if I got a bag and I still like to have multiple women, it's going to become a bigger problem. All right. You feel you me? Like you go broke, you going to go broke faster with a bag and multiple women. Women like fancy shit nowadays. So with that being said, now you get to the league. You got seven kids when you get to the league, right? I got, you got seven, yeah. When you get to the league, you got seven kids. How you? No, when I first got to the league, first got to the league. No, when I first got to the league, I had four kids. Four kids. I would say. Four. So how did you balance that? Like, now, so that's that's what three baby mamas, or that's that's three baby mamas. Three baby mamas. Now you got the money, and you got three baby mamas. So how was that balance? Like, was everybody cool? Was it a lot of cat <sighs> fights? First, they were, you know. Low key beef in the world, yeah. Between the lines, but at the end of the day, it was like, I, bro, what y'all? We ain't finna take my whatever I make, I make. We ain't finna take my life story, your life story, and just blast it all over the in the fucking internet, bro. No, nah, what do you want? What make you happy? How many kids you got from me? You got one. What you want? Okay, boom. So if you want one, if you want this for one, she gonna get the same thing if she got one, and if you got two, we gonna double that. From what I'm getting them off the one, mm -hmm. you feel me? So we gonna make this shit even. We ain't finna, we ain't doing that. What y'all yeah. want? Okay, y'all want this. Boom, 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 boom. Then one motherfucker wanna be smarter than me and try to take me to court. <laughs> okay, ain't no problem. It's cool. 
what you get from your tooth of going to court for me, whatever you get, we're gonna split that in half and get to the other the ones that got one. Cause that what the system gonna do anyways if you go through the system. Yeah. You feel me? So it's child support at this point. It's just child support. We cool. We ain't finna beef. We ain't, I ain't mad at you. You probably mad at me, but I ain't gonna never be mad at you. You got my kid. You feel me? Mm-mm-mm. Bliss Eyes Entertainment, man. Y'all like in, check in. Goddamn, Mr. Do It on the ones, two. I got some street shit coming for y'all. You hear me? So, um, so, so you, you done with football? Let's 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 get bro, it. I'm 35. Yeah, I'm done. You done with? Cause you just left the 49ers. You right. just went to 49ers last year. Yeah, I was done. You know what I'm saying. So what you done now is over with. If you get a call right now, you ain't gonna jump up and leave. For what? Y'all are just calling me to help the younger guys. I got young kids here I can help. I got my own kids I can help. Okay. Yeah, it's I'm on done. Team. You feel me? <laughs> but everybody got a price. It ain't no price on it that make you like hey, a a a playoff contender championship team. If they call you right now with a check, what did it take? How much did it take to get you back on the field? How many games left? Shit, about five. About five? I need one million, all guaranteed. No mm-hmm. incentives, no nothing. I don't want none of that. I never had incentives in my contract. How you feel about the league nine where it's hit it? Tom Brady came out and said something about, you know, it's mediocre. I like guess. Like with the the rules and all that going on now, man, just let a bit play ball, bro. That's it. Like I don't, I probably watch two, three games since the season started. I don't watch. I mean, bro, I just played this shit since I was six. I don't really. I might see the highlights on the TV on it, but I ain't trying to sit down and watch it for real. Mm-hmm. Because your life was so consumed yeah. with it. So and what you, you mentioned see? the kids. Let's like, see. So where do you see yourself now? Like after. Football, life mm. after football. I'm telling my story and <laughs> business man, man. Get business money. man. Yeah. What type of business is it just, are you getting into? Marijuana? Shit. I'm out there. <laughs> Pretty I'm much. Out, hey, it's a lifestyle. I'm out there in Arizona. We got some side carts out there in Arizona. Got a restaurant in Cali. Hey. Got a box truck. Shout it out. We, we need to know. Mm. Uh, the followers, the listeners. Brandy need Axe to know. out there in um, California, man. Escape room. You hear me? If you go to the winery out there in Cali, no, Arizona, go to, um, damn, what's the name? Yeah, I need an address. Yeah. I need to pull up. Yeah, that's, that's It's a winery out there in Arizona, though. Um, I'll get y'all the name before we end the episode. Seven Stars Trucking out there. You hear me? So for Flavors in Temple, we out there. We selling food. They head by the man. Y'all go check out the food. You hear me? So how you come up with these, like, business ventures? You got people that come with you like, hey, I want to do this, and you... You ain't drop nobody the check my, or this some stuff you want to do. Me and my mentor. My mentor bring it to me. I've been with him since I was in the eighth grade. He's in the army. Why would he want to steal from me? Why would he want to take from me? You don't hide. He can only help me. He trained just like I'm trained. He trained to be an army or soldier. I'm trained to be a football player. How y'all train, we train the same way. How you think, we think the same way. Yeah. So the business, the uh weed, the weed business, that was something House like of exotics. personal with you that yeah, that's you decided personal with me. Yeah, you know, yeah. you already know that. Yeah, that's yeah. a great investment. You feel me? If you want to check it out, we can go. You feel me? He didn't even smoke. It don't matter. He just, <laughs> just walked through the building. Yeah, the business. It might inspire me. You, you feel, feel me? Like, inspired. that's a big Come on, right? <laughs> So, we about to get into a little bit of your personal business, right? <laughs> yeah. Ain't shit personal. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'd rather was the last thing you dropped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can we expect more music from you? And what's next with the label? Oh yeah, I got a um got a little EP coming, man. Fresh out the field. Um, I don't know when I'm dropping. I'm just been dropping singles to to have somebody like have people catch on. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Just listen to me. Um, I'm just telling y'all the story how I got money. I ain't saying I was a killer. I ain't saying I was a gangster. All I said respect is respect that I'm a football player. I smoke came weed. from the bottom just like you. I smoke I smoke weed just like you. I just made it to the lead and got the bag. So, so rapping, all you always had a little passion for rapping, or is it just something that came along? Like uh, you when you got money, because you know when you get money, motherfucker want to do all type of shit. But it's different when you listen. Mm-hmm. You could tell who just want to do it because they got money. Yeah, you could tell who really been like just freestyling or just rapping, bro. I've been rapping since not rapping, but freestyling in the car with my teammates since fucking. Florida Gator days, you feel me? Having them sessions. Mm-hmm. High school, it's hot bars and smoking. Like me and my dog, just freestyling. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't, if you listen, you know how certain motherfuckers sound when they just trying to rap. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all, yeah. <laughs> then you get moved that motherfucker really just rapping and telling bars and shit like that. 
But y'all just check me out, man. It ain't, it ain't gonna be too long. When I blow, <laughs> there's no. <laughs> so, what's your playlist looking like? Like, who you listen to on the daily? Like, what gets you amped? You going to the gym? Are you, you gym. going to a, man, I wake a up. business event or somewhere? You, what you putting on? What I'm putting on? First of all, I'm gonna wake up. And I'm going to splash on some drip. Bird. Period. You feel me? Straight like that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but what I might put on. Um, no, I'm saying music-wise. <laughs> music-wise. Yeah, I know what yeah, you're saying. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, when I get up, I'm a, I am got a drip oh, bird. Yeah, uh, I feel you. Right now, I might listen to that little boy, that young boy, D-Lo. You feel yeah, me? Okay. He, got some, he got some flames. Um, I'm the biggest. Trigger 500. I be listening to that boy. Yeah, trigger 500. You feel me? Um... Shit. I go back a little to that old brazy honeycomb. I be in the vibe. Out. I be vibing, bro. Honeycomb just got out. You see all that shit going on in there? How you feel about it? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do. I don't know nothing about that, man. I'm a football player. <laughs> Whatever they do, that's not my business. You hear me? I ain't, I don't know. I can't speak on something I don't know, bro. You feel me? He been, he been dissing everybody. The label, he dish. J Prince. Nah, he, but he apologized to J Prince the other day. Yeah, though. you know, shit, so. shit like that gonna happen, bro. At the end of the day, what I said, when shit like that happen, I'm still gonna call you, what, two weeks later? Yeah. On yeah. Some, but have you ever took some shit, personal shit, and ran to the internet and hang out time did? Yeah. Hang out Have time. anybody did that to you? Probably have. But I don't know. Hey, I don't, I wouldn't care. That's right. You Tunnel feel vision. me? Females, like, you ain't never had nobody go on the internet. Sure. We're gonna, we're gonna, A couple motherfuckers don't went on and So, how you from. handle that? We gonna I don't respond. That. What I'm responding for? We're going to get to that. Exactly. Okay, okay. What's my no. purpose of responding? <laughs> I don't get nothing out of it. You gain somebody, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. But I don't get nothing out of it. And nine times out of 10, I ain't following motherfuckers. So, um, in 2018, right? Yeah. I mean, you're in New Jersey home. It was a uh, a body found in your basement, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, I don't know if your little brother or was it a big brother that uh, ended up catching what it was ten years for it yeah. situation. Yeah. Um, how did that affect your family and your career at the time, bro? Big bro, I love you. I don't know what happened. I don't want to know what happened. We just finna beat the case. Yeah, we've been to get the least, get you the least time as possible. I went there, you mm -hmm. feel me? So it's like, shit. When it did happen, I was in Orlando, mm -hmm. and then I get the call. I go back up there. I don't need to see shit because I don't know what happened. I yeah. can't talk to nobody because I went here. Yeah, just let me get everything I need out of this motherfucker, mm -hmm. and y'all do what y'all do, and, and we'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that on the career end, like. Did NFL was they tripping about it or they, uh, nah. they understood? They went, they was bro, they I ain't gonna cap. Them people really was like kinda on my side, bro. Cause I they already know they, bitch, you know what kind of person you get every day. You get a nigga that come in that bitch wild, cranky. You go you could say, I expect that from him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Calm, cool, and collective, baby. I went in that bitch every day high. I ain't got a problem with nobody. <laughs> Hi the coach, how you doing? I ain't got a problem with nobody. So if they know how I act already. Certain yeah. shit you can expect out of certain type yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it was like, shit, once it happened, bro, I don't want to know what happened. I don't want to know why. Bitch, we just finna fight this bitch till we get you at home, and then we're going to, shit, that's it. Period. So uh, financially, how did it impact you? Because I saw something about the landlords or something try to hit you with a $700,000. Huh, bye. Get out my face, bro. I don't need no problem. Y'all yeah. oh, wow. don't hear me? Sixty thousand for the lawyer, okay, huh, bro? You got that? Go, whatever we get, we get. We gotta deal with it. Ten of what happened, we can live with that. You gotta do. You gotta um release date. Yeah. What you say what happened to your crib? You want that, huh? I ain't heard for money. I wasn't. I wasn't heard for money, bro. So why not eliminate the problem before it can explode? Yeah. Yeah. You be hit me under that shit, bro. Get that shit out of the way. Boom, boom, boom. We gone. Yeah. Money solve a lot of problems. Yeah. <laughs> Especially something money like that. Seven hundred k. But, bro, shit like that. That's it's, some shit. They say it's more money, more problems. Did you feel that? Like, yeah, because anybody problem, anybody problem can be your your problem. Yeah. Friend, homeboy, cousin, uncle, auntie. They calling you, you you the savior. Yeah. So, with, speaking on losses, your Rose words got stole. Mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know what year it was, but it got stole. Did you ever recover that uh, car? I'm, I'm going through that right now. Still? That was like, what, about Five, six years ago, even probably more. 
but I'm doing it the smart way. I know, sir. I don't net. I won't. Y'all gonna give me this? or we gonna go to court? Which one? Mm-hmm. I ain't got no problem with that. See, they can do. I got money. Money can solve a lot. Help you out a lot too. Mm-hmm. So if a regular dude, Rose Roy got stole, we want a settlement because we ain't got time to be paying for the lawyers and all that. I ain't got no problem, baby. I'm patient. <laughs> So they recovered. It. Oh, wait. They recovered. They, the they, 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 they found it in everything. They found it out there in Dallas. One of them oh, broke. They found it. Yeah, one of them broke ass niggas out there in <laughs> Dallas bought a motherfucking stolen Rolls Royce. <laughs> but it ain't no I problem. Mean, I ain't mean, mad at y'all. Kind of I'm just saying. Crazy. And a, I know what a, a, I know what shopping is, so don't act like I don't know what's going on. Huh? How, how much Rolls Royces you had? Uh, I had I got I had that one, and I got the color in the truck. That was a Wraith that got stolen, right? I got I had the Wraith. And the color, and you had one. Yeah, I got one. I still got that one. So when they got the car back, was it fucked up or was it, was it drivable? I don't know. They ain't get the car back. Oh, I thought you said they found it in Dallas or something like that. You gotta get a, you gotta get that bitch checked out and through the maintenance and all that. Yeah, yeah. We mean? bought this baby. We ain't leased this. This yeah. real money over here, man. That's right. Every car I got, that bitch bought, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. We ain't worrying about that. You gotta get it checked out somewhere. So soon you hit that motherfucking car shop, whatever mm-hmm. one it is, that bitch gonna come up on what car back. Every that bin number, that bitch gonna come. That back bitch gonna come up on get what? Texas. Okay, we ain't press you. We gonna holler at the police out there. Cause I ain't got time to be t- t- trying to doing all that aid. Yeah, we ain't on that. I paid cash for that, so it ain't gonna be no problem for me. So I'm fighting that right now. Y'all gonna give me what I want. So how much? How much cars you got in your fleet right now? <laughs> I got like one car on the fleet, man. <laughs> one car. You got a goddamn one car. Hey man. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear I, got, I know I got a couple cars. Do I got a couple cars out there? There's a name. Got a, we um, want to hear. We want the top three. The, 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 the top three. Shit, I got the Bentley, the Cullinan, and that's all I got. What's next? The G wagon ain't mine. Nah, that my girl's on. Um, but I got a don't. I got an old school out there. That's it, bro. I don't really. Want, I bought all my cars, so it's like I'm gonna buy the car that I want. So I yeah. bought the Bentley. The rave that got stolen, the culling it. You know, I had little Camaros and Tahoes and shit like that. that ain't, you feel me? Little what? dog out cars. Yeah. What, what's next that you, like, oh, I got to have that most? They say they coming out with a uh, what, Ferrari truck. I don't like that, man. I'm, I'm getting everything a bitch can't buy, I'm going to go buy the car. My next car is a Maybach truck. The fuck you talking about? A Maybach truck. Yeah. They got a Maybach truck? Mm-hmm. The one that take the top oh, off the, with uh, the Maybach the jumping truck. one. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. The next one come out, I'm going What's to buy that. Was, uh, See what I'm doing? Cow. I'm just buying my car. <laughs> just, just buying. You feel me? So I can. Nah, for real. I just like to own my shit. So you got the Blitz House, uh, Blitz House Entertainment. Yeah, Blitz House Entertainment. What? That, what? What's the mean behind that like football baby and everything oh, it ain't uh-huh. no shooting at nobody we ain't on that man <laughs> yeah. listen to me blitz house entertainment everything i'm telling you is coming from my life experience you feel me i ain't trying to portray to be no gangster i ain't sending no shots i ain't talking about blitzing no nigga i love that i love that blitz all man i play football but are you signing artists not right now Cause I'm saying, with well, all these little jits coming up, I ain't got time for that's them. That's how you ain't signing nobody that Liability. associated Bro, on yourself. Like whatever risk. happened, listen, whatever you, well, risk, well, the risk I got to take, which that jitterbug going to come out of my pocket because that jitterbug ain't got nothing to lose. I'm just starting out trying to start my label. What I'm going to go sign a crazy jitterbug for and make me lose a half a million dollars on you? Y'all cool or whatever. I love y'all. Y'all rapping y'all ass out. Keep doing it. I love it. But all that wild shit, that shit for the birds, man. Think about it. 2023 women making more money than niggas mm-hmm. we came from pimping hoes nigga being pimps you hear me not a nigga getting pimped we That's came it. from pimping hoes bro <laughs> said not a nigga getting pimped we came from pimping hoes to dogging women in camos and polo boxes to nine women over the world how the fuck that happened i love y'all ain't ain't no problem I ain't mad i love y'all but how that happened you feel like women run the world right now Come on, bro. Because these men are not men. These we niggas, have some men. Bruh. Ugh. We went from pimping hoes to niggas killing each other. Think about it. Women, still women. All they got to do is get something done. They make over, baby. Mm-hmm. You want to you get some money? Invest in your bad bitch. So, so uh, speaking on uh, the Gigi, shout out to Gigi. I know she's probably watching this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's up, baby? Don't <laughs> help. You but, uh, 
DG went off the other day on social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't going to say what she said and all that, but, you know, it was her and the homeboys, whatever little issue she got with the homeboys. How was you able to fix that situation? If it's fixed, how was you able to, like, you know, because that's your girl. Yeah. She come first. Right. But then you got your dogs grew away from the dirt. How do you balance that, bro? Like, how do you make sure that she comfortable and make sure your dog still straight? Like, how you crazy that situation? Crazy part is, bro. When that situation happened, you could ask her, bro, I was asleep. Yeah. But at this point, I don't know what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. We out there in Belize. You hear me? We on a ba- we on a vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So when I wake up, she telling me her side of the story. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? Ah, uh, cause I don't follow her on Instagram. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? Boom. Let me call and see what. Let me th- I'm gonna call my dog and see what's going on. You yeah. feel me? Call my dog, bro. What happened? Explain the situation. Oh, the person she say said it ain't even said it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It was my little brother who said it. Mm-hmm. So now, I'm like, God damn. Now you don't snap <laughs> on this man. I got him on the phone. He's snapping on you. I told my dog, bro, y'all should, if she texts y'all, y'all shouldn't even reply. Y'all should have just texted me or called me yeah, when man. I got up. You feel me? I'm going to reply to y'all. Y'all should have texted or called me. You feel me? Yeah. But they didn't. One of them responded. Yeah, yeah. Sassy. You yeah. feel me? <laughs> Okay, they had it out. What? Y'all mad at each other? Y'all gonna fix that shit up when y'all see each other? I don't, bro. I don't try to argue with nobody. I but ain't trying to bring beef with nobody. Fuck, like my so, dog. That's my woman. Where you going? So you let them fix it themselves? They had, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if they fixed it. They ain't seen each other since. Mm. They ain't fixed it yet, bro. But at the end of the day, I called on the phone, bro. You know what you should have did? Babe, whatever you said, what tell me what you said. Mm-hmm. Okay, you you responded too fast, you was wrong, and you was wrong. I ain't mm-hmm. taking nobody's side. side yeah. At the end yeah. of the day, I ain't taking nobody's side. So get what? If you still mad, I can't help that you mad. I love you, you my girl. You mm-hmm. mad, bro? I love you, you my brother. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna fix this shit when y'all fix this shit. You feel yeah. me? It ain't that much hate in the world to make but keep going on. Keep on, going on and going, going, going on, you feel me? I'm not that. But I'm you not know how women is, man. Women are they, they gonna hold on. Like, they gonna hold on. They gonna, hold, they gonna feel it like you don't love me. You don't protect me, bro. You can't. Y'all, but this, what I be trying to get my girl to understand this all the time, baby. I love you. Where you going? I'm not going away. You not going nowhere. My dog's not going. We been here forever. Mm-hmm. You been here with us forever. So if y'all argue, why y'all can't come to reconcile? Be mutual. Cause y'all all, cause y'all all family. We all point, family at this point. point, bro. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. You gonna be mad at me one day. You gonna be mad at him one day. I'm gonna be mad at you. Everybody get mad. Yeah. Just fix that shit. Like, and then at the end, of, like I be trying to tell my girl, like, first thing you do, run the social media. I don't follow you. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's what you like to do. Yeah. You feel she me? was going ham. But at the end of the day, <laughs> that make us as a family look bad. Yeah. You yeah. trying to? I agree. I you agree trying? You trying to impress a motherfucker that don't even page. know what's going on? Mm-hmm. You trying to explain a motherfucker that don't even know us? What's, who you got? What you doing? Yeah. How that make you happy? Like what's what's your purpose? What you get out of that? And then like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, you got girls thinking, oh, it's something going on at home, not in your DM. They trying to get mm-hmm. in that position. You let everybody know you bother. Come on. What yeah. you bother? You should even bro. Entertain that. How well, we live for, life for, for social media. You shouldn't even worry about what even going on. You feel me? You shouldn't even be trying to express explain. So it. I'm saying, do you tell t- her that? Do you be like, listen, babe, stop the internet shit? Like, do you I you, bro. Or you just let her do her thing. You just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. yeah Sometimes, all she do is be on TikTok. Mm-hmm. That shit make me mad. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's cool, but what the fuck? Yeah, my girl did that shit before, too. Just went off on social media. Like, don't do that. And just completely say, fuck what you talking about. And just yeah, go, so on just go on the rampage. Yeah. Then a couple days later, be like, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> you feel what I'm Come saying? on, bro. Come on, bro. It's that EI, that emotional it's just intelligence. A point. You know, women just got to have a point. They just got to have a statement, bro. At the end yeah. of the day, I feel like they just always got to state that have the last statement, bro. And if all that energy put, like, social media, a billion dollar industry, like, yeah. if y'all put that same energy in, like, putting a product out there on social media or something <laughs> like that. Again, social media is a money 
platform. It could bring you so much paper. That's why I hate when like women do it. Like put that energy into something positive and get money on there. Like come on, have, have conversations saying. with motherfuckers about getting money. Like right. you could be on the phone all fucking day, but if you ain't talking about no money, yo, you wasting energy, bro. Yeah. But I mean that's. You feel me? Some motherfuckers gonna call you just for just for the be petty, start drama, let you talk about drama. What conversation is they having about money though? Yeah. Like a lot of people, I don't like to talk too much. Like, but I know they ain't finna call me about nothing. But if it's about some money, like we we'll talk longer. But I can't. It's just different females in this world. It is. It is. So, um, have you ever thought about uh, what they call that shit? Polygamy? No. Never thought Bro, about. Bro, I ain't. I ain't. It's great. Women don't even excite me, bro. I've been fucking. I'm just, I'm just, just had to throw it out there. That's all. It don't, that don't excite me having two women. What can that do for me? Two I, mean, headaches. I agree. Two I headaches. Agree. That Dang. can't do shit for me. Two bills. Two times the bills. Okay, two that can't headaches, do shit for yeah. me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. They had to throw it out there. So you got it. You got a script club. I saw that online. You got a script club in your house. Man, yeah, I got a big ass pad. <laughs> Niggas don't really. That's, that's what I'm trying. To, I'm telling you all this in my music, bro. That's just, damn that light polygamy. You got motherfuckers coming to the crib. <laughs> ain't nobody up. coming to my crib though. So what, what's the purpose use. of the? That's my that lifestyle. Him, oh, girl. okay. You I feel ain't me? Think about that. It ain't even that. It just it's my lifestyle. It's, it's my house. It's you feel me? Stuff. I don't let bitches. Ain't no anybody coming to my crib, fam. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you fine, real fine, body done up, bitch. Fuck no, nah, for what? Nah, bro. Period. So oh, you built the house ground up? Like, nah, was, was I, that something you put in there? I bought it and I remodeled. We remodeled the whole thing. Oh, okay. Like, from bottom to top, top to bottom. So period. the club was already in there or you put it in there? No, nah, it was already in there. Oh, I just remodeled already, oh, okay, it. Okay. I remodeled everything in that bitch. Made it what I wanted to be. How you I got the studio look. in there now? Yeah. So you are. In house, like you serious, you yeah. dead serious about the music. Like I see you been, you know, dropping videos, staying consistent. Yeah, for sure. And so with b- between music and football, like what you feel like you better at? football because I've been playing all my life. Mm-hmm. But do you feel like you get there with music? Of course I can. You got to think. I never had the time to really just sit down and just get in that bitch and really write music to be creative. Cause you I really came like to from be freestyling. I'm freestyling like. My life, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm going to tell my story the way I want it instead of the way they want They want to perceive me to be, as this person to be. Football player from Pahokee. Yeah, bitch, I had struggles, too. For real? You hear me? Yeah. Don't just talk about the bad shit. I had struggles. Tell them I had struggles and made 60 M. You feel me? I invested in box trucks and shit like that. Come on. I'm telling it. I'm going to tell it, though. They got to listen to my music. Mr. Do it, baby. Tune in. And so I got one dropping. Out. And I got another one dropping Friday. Real shit. You hear me? Real shit. Yeah, real shit. Real shit, because we do it. For All sure. platforms, man. What, what, like, what do you apply? Like, how you apply yourself to football? Like, what do you apply to the music? Like, how do you apply yourself to come up with these records? Like, what, what game you took from there that you... I don't have to make up and think too much. I just tell what I did, bro. Like, I really yeah. tell what I did. Like, that homeboy locked up. Brother, oh, locked right, up. You got a story to tell, so it come naturally. I, I grew up in the hood. I ain't exaggerating about women. I, I did it. What's so, your goal with it though? Like with the t- music. I just want to tell my story. I ain't trying. If I make money, it's cool. If I get booked for shows, it's cool. But at the end of the day, I'm telling my story, yeah. bro. My way. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Let the crackers tell it. White people tell it. Oh shit! <laughs> Seven baby mamas, <laughs> eight kids, <laughs> got arrested. Yeah, tell them how I grew up, though. Explain the whole situation. Yeah. yeah. I came from the same type of shit. I got arrested for a nigga smoking weed, selling dope, brother breaking their house. I, I didn't have to do that. I seen that. I'm not a gangster. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't, this is my brother. I don't witness it. I had a five-star brother, football player. He ain't make it. He went to live in that way. I can't live that way. I ain't trying to live like him. I want to be better than him. And that's something my big brother always told me, bro, just be yourself. That's the one that got caught up in the situation? Yeah. So he was a five-star athlete? Probably a four-star. I'm probably over-exaggerating. But that was like, shit, I was 15, 16. He my five-star, nigga. That's my big brother. So you learn from his mistakes, like, going forward. That's it. And you learn from everybody's mistakes around you. Like, I'm going to be Even my own, bro. And that's smart. Even my own. Even my own. What was your biggest mistake? 
Smoking weed, getting caught. <laughs> what you learn from that? Just, just don't get caught, bitch. That's you it. Smoke, you smoke all the weed you want. I can smoke all the weed business, you want, bro. Just don't get caught, bro. Smoke all the weed you want. Yeah. I feel like you, you said, I said, asked you the biggest mistake, but I feel like it was the Twitter situation. You don't feel like that was what like. What Twitter? The shit that happened with New York. Man, I don't eat. I forget. I don't give a fuck about New York, man. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Twitter, bro. <laughs> Bitch, give me my money. Let me get the fuck up. Bro, listen to my... Hey, man. Yeah, I saw the tweet after that. Hey, man, like, listen, man. Go yeah. listen to the music, yeah. man. I'm telling you all this, we man. I ain't capping, bro. <laughs> Rabbit, Mr. Do It, man. All platforms, Bliss Eyes Entertainment. Bro, you asking some shit that's already in the music. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? I ain't... No, fuck so, New York. So I, did you ever see of, me speak about that? Yeah, I saw you make a tweet. Like what I, I was, said? Yeah, Whatever I said, God, bitch, I man. said. I ain't taking shit back. That's what the fuck I said. Right or wrong? Right. Okay, then, bro. I don't want to apologize to nobody in the world. What the fuck? Give my money. Get the fuck up out of here. Exactly. Bye. So they still had to cut It's a check. business, bitch. <laughs> Bye. For real. How you going to control me or what I say on social media, bitch? You never been in this field. You ain't seen Trump post? Bitch. I can say what the fuck I want to say. You feel me? Yeah. That's, that's my whole purpose about the whole situation. Okay. That's how I talk. You didn't tell that side of the story. I came from the hood, slang. That's part of my slang. Bitch, if you would have told him when I came out of the draft, a bitch yeah. would have knew that. Because a lot of people don't think. Like, when I read the situation, I'm like, okay. this, we, we say this shit to each other every day. Like, yeah. They took it in, like, oh, this, you can't say. And I never seen nobody, like, get disciplined for. What they say? What we growing up. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. Like, we don't, like, certain shit we say to each other, we don't. Get in trouble for it. Bro, let me tell y'all what's so funny, bro. They called me in the office after the tweet. Tell me, do you want to apologize? No. <laughs> mm. For what? For what? Freedom That's of part speech. of my slang. Oh, then next, guess what? Next, less than 24 hours, they release me. Oh, well, bitch, bye. I ain't mad at none of y'all. I got my money and I'm out of here. Period. I ain't hold no grudge. <laughs> That's them. That's them. I'm a hundred with mine. I ain't hold no grudge. They told me to take it down. I said I ain't taking nothing. So he now. was damn that Kanye for Kanye. He was going through. Man, I'm myself, nah, he man. Himself, and I my dad would say, that. be yourself. <laughs> uh, bro, be yourself and protect you. Cause ain't nobody that's gonna protect yourself. Protect you like you gonna protect yourself. <laughs> and they can only only be one. Excellent. I ain't, bro. What I'm telling you, I ain't playing. Go look on Instagram, Twitter. That tweet, I ain't saying nothing about that shit, cause I don't give a fuck. I got my money. My plan was to get two mil, bitch. I done hit for 60 something. What the fuck can I be mad for? <laughs> exactly. What so, would you tell the youth? Man, yeah. just be yourself. You feel me? Life's full of ups and down. But ain't no way but up. You hear me? So can we expect um, marriage and more kids in the future? In the future, yeah, man. Like, more kids. I want twins for real. Yeah. To be honest, I just want... Give me one more set of twins. No, you can pay for that, man. Yeah, Two and through. I know all that, man. <laughs> Eye color, hair color, everything. Baby, I already know that. Okay. You feel me? That's some shit. That's crazy. But at the end of the day, got to wait till that time. You wanted, the way, you wanted to be natural, like, you don't believe in that, or that's something that you want to do? Man, give my twins the way I can. Okay. You feel me? So how you enjoy your retirement? Well, you ain't announced retirement. You can just say you believe. But huh? how you enjoying it? I just wake up, bro. And just, I do whatever I want to do. I ain't, like I said, I'm used to this. So it's like I wake up, I just smoke weed. <laughs> wake up, give me some food. I love it. I fucking No cap, it. bro. I ain't capping. <laughs> I wake up, get me and my girl some food. You know what I'm saying? She working, whatever, smoking. Bro, I ain't. And when she ready to go, or when I'm ready to go, we can go. Just stay out of the way. Simple. Financial Simple. freedom. It's That's crazy because you ain't you ain't let the money get to your head like you ain't leave your day one you ain't out there caught up with all these Instagram models bro you just be chilling you know what I'm saying you know we done hung out a couple once, times once man. again bro you know, that's what's I up. keep telling you you did that shit young <laughs> certain people used to certain type of shit yeah if you used to if you used to fucking women you used to fucking women now women gonna excite you like that. If you mm -hmm. used to fucking women, bad women, you feel me? Who gonna excite you to make you wanna just go blow your money, shit yeah. like that? Yeah. I did this shit since I was in high school. This is what I'm telling the bitch. Since I was playing city league football, I've been him. Not them. I've been <laughs> him. <laughs> been fucking. You hear me? Go back to the hood, ask about me. Go to Gainesville, ask about me. Go to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Ask about me. I don't cry. New York. <laughs> ask about me. 
New Orleans, ask about me, and get what? Just off the screen with the me, nigga. You ain't cut no check. Off the screen with the me. So you ain't never trick? Who? You. I'm used to that. I'm just saying. I, I, what you call I, trick? Paying for pussy. How you pay for pussy? He said hair oh, and nails. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait. Right. Hold on, wait. How you pay for pussy? I give Directly you some money. Directly or indirectly. Either or. How I, you pay for pussy? A purse. I feel like a purse you paying for. Nigga, you pay for pussy five. anytime you spent food. Anything. What? For sure. Bad. Yeah. Gas. So you saying everybody hotel. trick. I'm just saying. It's just a, it's a man question. It ain't no, you know, a trick question. It's a man question. Because he don't trick. Yeah, don't Bro, trick. he trick. I don't he, trick. He, he said he don't trick. I, I, I have trick. I don't trick. Day. Listen, man. <laughs> Food. It ain't nothing wrong. Clothes. Shoe. Whatever yeah. you buy, bitch. You tricking. Seafood. Tricking. Yeah, seafood. Sedaris, seafood. Yeah, yeah, that ain't, but that ain't, <laughs> bro. Tricking different. Like man, this, I'm tricking, little bro. tricking and it's big. Tricking, if I decide to go get me something to tricking. eat, and invite you. Oh, that's, that's tricking, bro. It's what you? Yeah. If you a real, if you a real nigga, bro, tricking is tricking. You still spending money on a bitch. You don't supposed to spend man, money on the bitch if she ain't yours. No. I feel like if you get some exchange for it, then that's tricking. Like if you doing this to fuck her, it's tricking. But I'd be man, let's go get something to eat. I might not have no attention on fucking you today. But you gonna you But I want to get something to eat. But at the and end I want to get to know you. Let's go. At get the to know end each of the day, what man you know gonna take us take take somebody out to eat and don't want the pussy. My mom always told me if she gonna fuck, she gonna fuck now or later. You she still gonna fuck. Mm-hmm. You feel like females trick? Cause yeah. a, a chick will invite me out to get something to eat. That don't mean she, she probably don't want to fuck you right now. But she gonna want to fuck you. Bitch, that could be ten years from now. She want that dick. Nah, they ain't tricking. Yeah, just... it is, but she's spending money. You, I, I don't know. I'm real, bro. If you spending money on, on a bitch, you tricking. I don't give a fuck if you spend a hundred thousand, three dollars. You still it's a, it's at the end of the day, you still trying to get a point across because no, you trying to, to get some sex. I, I feel like it's alright. My daddy was a trick. Listen, me so I think Ash, where I got it from. We don't win and got something to eat. Yeah, I mean you can't say you and Ashley. Nah, nigga, you, yeah, you know what? See, you want to <laughs> come on, man? <laughs> we talking about. Women. Man, you could you could you could there's go take a girl. You could treat a girl nice with ex- without expecting shit from it. Like you ain't yeah, your home. Every girl. People you, you, know, you ain't finna treat no more. Come on, bro. See, but you just a different type of nigga. Like he, he he never even cheated on his girlfriend. So he bro, I did I did cheat. See that? Cheat. If he get that bad, I ain't gonna go crazy. <laughs> hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Hey man, <laughs> if he get the bad, he gonna go crazy, nah, man. That's what same, I'm trying to tell you. I'd be the same motherfucker with or without it. I, we just gonna like you said, like today, I ain't today, I, before, December second yeah, like, at nine oh one, bro. Don't man, bro, don't, don't, don't give me your, your bullshit. I'm <laughs> <done. laughs> <laughs> saying, no, I don't even play, man. One thing yeah. I know, he get that bad. Nah, he hey, trick, trick, a whole lot easier. That's all yeah. I'm telling you. Hey man, yeah. Blitz House Entertainment, yeah. baby, <laughs> Mister Do It and this motherfucker. So, we if, appreciate you coming. For through, y'all my boy. that don't know, y'all know. Go ahead, give him your um. Your social media handles, so they can go ahead follow you. Shit, I'm already <laughs> nah, man. Um, Clamps 2.0, man. That's my personal page. C L A M P Z. Period. 2.0. Period. And you say you got what rich nigga shit dropping? Got rich nigga shit. The, oh, follow the mat on uh, the music page, man. Um, what it is? Let me see what it is. See that? Oh, and you yeah. gotta give us the um. Me you probably could drop it in your story, the uh, the winery in phone, Arizona, because I'm trying to die. get to And what's the meaning? Rabbit behind? underscore Mr. Do It, man. It's Go follow that shit. bitch. Like, what they expect for? Like, what what do this record mean? Telling you how I'm rich. Mm-hmm. Rich nigga. How you got it? Rich. How you got it bad? Ah. If y'all can't just find it, just come to Free Dope. We're going to be sharing all the good shit, all just the rich new shit. shit. Dropping, uh, we dropping that bitch Friday. What are they? Uh? The second. Saturday. Oh, so next yeah, Friday. So. Yeah, we dropping that bitch next Friday. Coming, this one coming up, man. Exactly. Rich shit gonna be on all platforms, YouTube and everything. Gonna run the numbers up. Rabbit, Mister, do it, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Free dope. <laughs> yeah. And we ain't talking about the short way, goddamn. Hey. <laughs> hey.